Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Christmas Eve! We have made it all the way through the 24 days, not of Christmas, but leading up to Christmas. New beer every day. This is the last one and it's Christmas. Uh, I've got a hat on, which I'll be honest, that's coming straight off because they're far too warm. I've even got a wolf with a Santa hat on. Now, I know what you're thinking. You've not seen this t-shirt before. Well, I was saving the best till last and by the best, I mean quite literally the most atrocious Christmas t-shirt I own and arguably that you could possibly buy. It's one of those naff wool t-shirts but the wolf is wearing a Santa hat. Um, don't know why. Honestly, would not wear this out in public but for some reason I decided to wear it on the internet. Um, I mean, it's just ridiculous, let's be honest. It is just ridiculous but I'm going to wear it anyway because, well, what's the point otherwise? Um, so let's get on with it. Let's find out what beer is behind door number 24. And there we have it, it is a humongous bottle, 750ml Colonel Custard Christmas Ale. I think if you're thinking I've never heard of that before, well I'm not surprised. It's from Black Isle Brewery, it's one of their, I guess, more exclusive, elaborate brews. It is a, I'm going to have to turn the bottle around to describe this because I can never get all the words right in order, a Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Scotch Ale. It's so exciting, the dog's going off. It's a Scotch Ale, it's a wee heavy, it's a that sort of thing. Uh, it's 11%, I believe, yeah, 11%. And I'll be honest, possibly the most expensive beer I've bought this year. Um, I can't remember exactly what I paid for it when I was at the Black Isle Brewery, but uh, I've just looked and on their website right now, it's about 17 quid. I think that's about right, to be honest. Um, so let's hope it's damn good, which I'm sure it will be. Before we crack into it, here is a quick look at the bottle. I mean, I can't even get all of it on screen, look. But look at that, fantastic label. The Colonel Custard, of course, is a dog, uh, according to this. I'm sure there's some more info about why that is the case on the side of the bottle, which we'll get into later. This bottle is also incredibly heavy. I'm struggling to hold it at such an angle. Well, uh, that was an anticlimax because despite having a top, there's actually a cork in there. I need to get a proper bottle owner. Back in a moment. Right then, corkscrew acquired. Um, not used to this with beer, but let's see what happens. This is a terrible angle to be doing this at as well. About there, I think. Is that going to be good? I think that's okay. Oh, jeez. Really worried about this ruining the beer, but... I guess there's no point in having fancy beer without a bit of pomp and ceremony, eh? Right. And then hopefully, still not quite. <laughs> That is always a satisfying sound. Today, of course, go with the Black Isle Brewery glass. This time, the uh, tulip style, I think, for this one. It's not going to be ever a drink that you get into one glass, I guess. So let's enjoy a wee nifter to start. In the glass, then, as you'd expect for a Scotch Ale, deep, dark red. One finger off white head on it. Looks pretty clear to be honest. Quite a lot of carbonation spiking up there that I can see. It's difficult to look through as much because it is so dark, but I'm just getting a bit through when I shine it directly into the light. It's definitely red though rather than black. And um, yeah, I'm getting some aromas at a distance, but nothing too strong. So uh, let's find out what it's really all about. On the nose then, heavy caramelization notes, fruity, figgy. Smells a little bit like a mince pie, a little bit like a Christmas pudding, you know, just a just a hint to those kind of rich dried fruit kind of things. The whiskey's definitely coming through, kind of that vanilla bourbon vibe. But it does smell it smells remarkably fresh. For something that's aged and so strong and all the rest of it, 
this doesn't give off the kind of expectation that it's going to be a difficult drink, if that makes sense. It feels like it's going to be quite fruity, quite lively, quite a lot of character, not too serious, which to be honest I'm quite grateful for, because the last thing I want when spending this much on a beer is actually to go, I'm a bit overwhelmed by that, I can't really enjoy it. So this doesn't have that impression on the nose at least, so let's find out for sure. Let's get into it. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. Wow. Oh, that is full of flavour, super silky, rich, and it's not too domineering. It's really got a really pleasant, sweet, caramel, fruity. Well, I mean, everything I said in the aroma is basically true on the flavour. Um, I have no doubt about saying this, that is the best Scotch Ale I've ever had. No question. No question whatsoever. Granted, it's Imperial Barrel Age stronger, whatever, but I really like the flavours of Scotch Ale, but so often they go so far to make them a bit aggressive, a bit rough, a bit whatever, that actually halfway through I go, I'm not sure I can really enjoy this properly, whereas that, that is balanced to perfection. Oh, it is, that is sublime. Right, top to bottom taste test so you can know exactly what on earth I'm talking about. So, initially, lightly carbonated, quite sweet on the front of the tongue. That goes into kind of a bit of a, I guess the taste of lull. Um, it's quite sweet, quite vanilla forward, just subtle, lingering until it gets to the taste buds at the back. At which point you get a bit of a flavour, not a crash, it's more of a, a just an uplift. It's, it goes a bit sweeter, a bit stronger on the booze, and there's a bit of a sweet kind of, I want to say caramelised citrus peel. It's that kind of, there's a very specific word for this and I can't remember what it is, but you kind of get um, candied, yeah, like candied citrus peel or whatever. It's that kind of thing. Really quite refreshing. And then that drops off and you're left with the proper scotch ale, wee heavy crescendo of flavour. But in this, they're all wrapped up and mixed in with this beautiful, sweet vanilla bourbon experience that it's so good. It's all that, it's that traditional red Scotch Ale base built on top of with a load of, I'd say like extra boozy dried fruits. You kind of, your figs, figgy pudding, mince pie, that kind of thing. Um, and then the aftertaste is like, if you've ever had a, um, a whiskey cocktail where you've seen them make it and you go, there's a shed load of whiskey in that, not a lot else, that's gonna be quite rough. And you drink it and it's just, it tastes fully of whiskey, but it doesn't have any of that extra bite, any of that extra intensity. That's what this is like at the end. In fact, I think if you'd given me that, spruced up in a glass and said, this is a Christmas whiskey cocktail, I would not have questioned it. Um, I mean, maybe I would, I don't know. It's still very much a <laughs> Scotch Ale, but that aftertaste is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I mean, there's just flavor on flavor in this. I think you could sit there all night with this, and to be fair, 11% in a 750 ml bottle, it's basically wine, so you'd have to sit there all night with it, and you would just constantly pick out new and interesting things. There's a bit of a taste up front that could even be likened to Belgian beer, a slight bubblegummy fruitiness, but it doesn't hang around. It's just a bit of an initial feeling before that floats away. And now I'm thinking about it, there's a bit more bitterness than maybe I described initially when you kind of let it swirl around and take your time with it. It's so, so dynamic, this beer, so dense in flavor, so varied that yeah, I mean, complex doesn't quite cut it, but balanced it absolutely is.
That is absolutely sensational. Right, let's take a look at the bottle. Be careful holding this one. So, Colonel Custard's Christmas Ale, a bourbon barrel aged Imperial Scotch Ale with the nice picture of the dog on the front. Black Isle Brewing Co. Best before the 22nd of October 2025. This is one to age, and to be honest, if they've got any left next time I go up, I think I'll get another. Um, it's vegan friendly, save the planet, drink organic, all their usual stuff, and then about this beer. Colonel Custard, the nickname of a tiny dog with a massive personality. Colonel Custard, the nickname of a tiny dog with a massive personality. Our annual release in memory of Tusker is a stonker. We've gone Bourbon Bonkers, a 100% organic Imperial Scotch Ale aged in Heaven Hill barrels. A deep, rich vanilla aroma with a silky smooth finish is the perfect complement to a Christmas pudding or a filthy great cheese board. They're not wrong. This with a cheese board would be astronomically good. The ingredients are simply water, malted barley, oats, hops and yeast and that's it. So it's named after a dog who unfortunately has since passed but um, a great tribute is 750 ml bottle, 11%, there's approximately uh, 8 UK units in this bottle which will come as no surprise um, and that really is all that's on it but honestly I mean just look at it. That is I've always shied away from uh, buying, I guess, more expensive beers, more fancy beers, because so often with these things you come away disappointed. And it has to be said, they did not disappoint. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, really. This is just... Now, second pour, I've only put a small amount in the glass on purpose because I'm going to wrap the video up shortly, but there's just, there's even a bit of an aroma of Marmite about it. It's not strong, it's just, you know, that slightly, or very, should I say, kind of salty savouriness you get from the aroma of Marmite. It's absolutely there. It hasn't really shown itself in the taste, but oh, I mean, that is such a fantastic beer. It really is. That is, if you're gonna spend some cash on a bottle, that is a bottle to do it on. I have to say, that is simply fantastic. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. I do know what to say. What I need to say to all of you is Merry Christmas. And thank you for watching this video. It's not quite over yet, so don't turn off. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching the channel for those of you who are repeat viewers for, I was about to say the last year, it's not been quite a year yet, we've got a couple months left to go, but um, this is my first Christmas on the channel and to be honest, I've had an absolute blast through the lives, through the whole Christmas countdown. It's been fantastic. I'll be honest, I'm slightly relieved that we're at the end because trying to get a video out every single day it's not an easy task, especially when you're busy with work, family and everything else. So, uh, but I appreciate you watching and um, hopefully you keep watching for some time to come because uh, next year, hoping for a few, um, I'm not gonna say more out there, more outlandish, more interesting things, but just to continue the vibe, if you like, and keep it going and see where we get to in the next year. Uh, but Merry Christmas to you all and your families. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and I will be back um, I don't know when, to be honest. Uh, after 24 days back to back, I do need a little break, but I am off to Scotland and they do have incredible beer such as this one. So who knows, maybe we'll be some more content sooner than we think, but uh, I will be back soon, rest assured. And until then, have a very Merry Christmas. Happy New Year if I do not see you before. And uh, well, cheers, Merry Christmas. Oh, and if you'd like to leave me a Christmas present, one that's completely free, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, whichever order they're in, and um, yeah, that's it. Take care. Cheers.